In this video, you can expect a high-level overview of how to cultivate kelp in pristine waters along British Columbia's coastline, from seed collection to harvest. The first step is to establish your baby seaweeds. From a live blade of kelp, collect the reproductive tissues, called sori, shown here as the dark brown patch on the seaweed. Stress the tissues by drying them out in a refrigerator for 18 to 24 hours. Next, rehydrate the tissues in seawater. This will trigger the release of male and female spores which then merge. While waiting for this to happen, prepare the lines to which your baby seaweeds will attach and grow. Take pieces of PVC pipe and wrap them tightly with kite twine with no overlapping pieces. Insert these spools wrapped in twine into a prepared tank. Your baby seaweeds need the right temperature, light, and nutrients to grow. Release the water containing your spores into the tank with the spools. The spores will attach to the seed line and grow into visible baby kelp. This process usually takes 45 days. You'll know they are ready when the spools appear to be covered in a brown fuzz. The seed lines are now ready to be deployed in the ocean. Ocean cultivated seaweed grows attached to the anchored ropes just below the ocean surface. Assemble your ropes, floats, chains, and anchors according to your farm design. Take this infrastructure out to your farm site and install by dropping your anchors and floats into the water, ensuring that they're taut and secure. Transfer your fuzzy spools to the farm. Unravel the kite twine from the pipe and wrap it around the ropes of the farm. Your baby seaweeds are now ready to grow into curtains of kelp, often up to two meters in length. After four months of growing, it's time to harvest. Head out to your farm, cut the kelp off the rope and gather it into storage containers. Unload the storage containers onto the dock. Your seaweed is now ready for primary processing and to be turned into nutritious and delicious food.